And this is what made me ask myself whether the world is flat or round. Like imagine if you just went straight into the horizon and then you left San Andreas but still came back to San Andreas because you just went around the entire world. That would be crazy. Smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. We're leaving our spacecraft. Yeah, we're definitely moving to the wormhole. Come on, dude, you can do this. You can do this, man. Just make it through. Everything is shaking though. Where would we respawn in space? So we're gonna find out in today's episode. I'm just gonna hold this and we're gonna see what happens. Do you think it's round or do you think it's flat? Let me know in the comments below, guys. 1,003,797. Like, you can't even make that up. I, I haven't even been to coordinates as crazy as this in GTA. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort. Today is going to be extremely interesting because as you will know, if you have watched my channel over the past few days, there's this amazing space mod in GTA 5. And you guys have been telling me some awesome ideas to do with this mod. You guys have been asking me to experiment and test on so many awesome things. And we've been doing that over the past few days. But the more I play with this mod, the more I think to myself whether San Andreas is actually round or flat in GTA 5. And a few of you guys have asked me to do this as well. And I think this will be quite a funny episode to do and the reason why I decided to do this episode is because as you start flying up into space as you guys will see very soon you start to see the curvature of San Andreas as if it becomes a planet and then of course when you go to space it literally does become a planet and I remember about a year ago or so I decided to try and test this and just fly out as much as I can and I was using certain mods when I did that but what I've noticed is since I've done that video the mods we have used have been advanced so much because they've managed to make Make this mod out of the mods we were using last year. It's quite amazing when you think about it. And when I was thinking about this, I was just thinking to myself, this could actually be a really interesting idea. And the way I'm going to kind of hypothesize about this, hypothesize, hypothesize, okay, that's the word we're saying. The way we're gonna hypothesize around this is if we get into a plane, go straight off into the horizon, which I'm not too sure if you guys can see because it's kind of cloudy right now, but we go straight into the horizon. And then if the world is round, then we're going to go back into San Andreas if that makes sense. So we will leave San Andreas, go in a straight line, and then end up back in San Andreas, which is a pretty cool theory, and I think that is incredibly possible as well, considering that we already know if we fly up into space, the entire map kind of looks round, which is uh, extremely interesting. So that's one thing which could happen, and of course the next thing which could happen is we could just fly out forever and ever and ever, and we wouldn't really see anything. In fact, we might even see an invisible wall and we'll just go straight into it or something like that. But this is going to be interesting because I do actually have all of these mods installed. So I don't think there's any barriers in this entire game. We can literally do whatever we want to. We can go wherever we want to. And it's going to be interesting to see what we find because how awesome would it be if we left San Andreas, went in a straight line and came back to San Andreas. The reason why I was thinking about this as well is because in yesterday's video, we went to explore the moon. And something I noticed is that the person who created the moon surface kind of looped it, if that makes sense. So we would just go extremely fast and you could kind of see that, like you could see hills just kind of repeat itself as if this guy had just duplicated the moon's surface because you can't really find the edge of the moon because it's round. So that's exactly what I think could happen when we do this and this is just going to be extremely interesting to do. So before we get into this guys, I just want to kindly ask each and every one of you to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. Let's try and smash that goal of 5,000 likes guys. I know we can do it and uh, oh man, this is going to be interesting because I don't know what we're going to find out. But what I do know is that we have so many mods installed, so we're not going to hit into any barriers, so we're going to find answers in this video. So I want all of you guys right now to comment in the comments section below what you think the answer is. Do you think the world is round, or do you think the world is flat? Let me know in the comments below, guys. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think. It'll be interesting to see how many of you guys think round. It'll be interesting to see how many of you guys think flat. I think it could be one or the other. Like, I have no idea. It could just as easily be one or the other. So Oh my days, this is gonna be awesome. So before we get into this, I'm just gonna try out how many challenges do I have? I have three challenges to do and uh, I was just looking in the comments. I know I said yesterday that I probably wouldn't do another space video, but I decided, you know what? Let's just do these last three challenges because loads of you guys were asking me to do them and they do actually sound kind of interesting. So before we find the answer on whether the world is round or flat, we're just gonna get into the rocket. We're gonna go up to space using this mod and we're gonna try out a few interesting things. So what are we gonna try out first? 
first. I think we're going to go over to the black hole in space. Let's go into the rocket now, guys. It's just over there. And if you haven't seen the takeoff yet, then you're going to love this because it is epic, guys. And if you want to download the mods, I will leave a link to it in the description below. It came out just a few days ago. And this is the best mod I've ever seen in GTA 5. Like, it's amazing, guys. I don't even know how they did this. So we're in the rocket. Three, two, one, takeoff. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh yeah. And now we're just going to fly up into space. But as we do so, I want you guys to take a look at the world around us because you can literally see the curvature of the entire world. And this is what made me ask myself whether the world is flat or round. Like imagine if you just went straight into the horizon and then you left San Andreas but still came back to San Andreas because you just went around the entire world. That would be crazy. So it's going to be interesting to see what we find. And uh, we're almost in space. Here we go, boys. We're almost there. You can see we're just leaving the atmosphere. We are in space. And this is what it looks like for those of you who haven't seen what space looks like. It's awesome. Like I said, this is the best mod I've ever seen. You, you physically can't describe it. It's literally another game in a game. It is it is that cool. We're going to go over to the black hole or the wormhole, however you guys want to call it. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. You can see Saturn right there. You can see the wormhole. It's called Kepler 538, I think it is, or 53B. Kepler 53B. I think that's what it is. And uh, we also have Titan over there as well. But we're going to go into this wormhole. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave our spacecraft before we go inside it and we're just going to go inside the wormhole by ourselves, and we're going to see what happens now in order to do this I'm going to quickly remove invincibility so we can just go straight through it and I don't know what's going to happen because the last time we went into this wormhole we were in our spacecraft so now when we do this again we're going to be outside the spacecraft so it's going to be interesting to see what happens to our character because we're literally going to be going inside a wormhole oh boy this is going to be interesting Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close, guys, but I don't want to get too close because it will start taking us in. So I think I'm going to jump out on the count of three. Three, two, one. Let's jump out now. We're going to jump out and hopefully we will just continue going in this direction. Oh, this is going to take a long time. This is going to take such a long time, but we're going to go in this direction and we're going to go into the wormhole by ourselves. We're leaving our spacecraft. See you later. It's been nice knowing you. It's been nice knowing you. We're just going to go on an adventure by ourselves. Yeah, we're definitely moving to the wormhole, but we're going at such a slow speed and I can't speed this up. I can't like pick up my character or anything. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Something's happening. Everything's shaking. Everything is shaking. I think we're being picked up. Are we gonna make it through come on dude you can do this you can do this man just make it through everything is shaking though yeah we're still going forward we're gonna go into the wormhole literally yeah for those of you guys wondering this is what the wormhole is it takes you into another part of the galaxy like i, I don't even know everything's disappeared i think we're going in everything's shaking are we gonna make it through yo we're going in we made it through we just went through a black hole. Oh man, that was awesome. We went straight through the wormhole in GTA and there's the wormhole. So you can make it through the wormhole if, if you're not using anything, if you're just going through by yourself, you can still go through there in GTA 5. So if you guys are wondering what happens, you can still make it through if you want to, which is uh, pretty cool. So if any of you guys were wondering what happens if you go through a wormhole or if you go into an atmosphere of something when you're not inside a spacecraft or anything else like that, you will be okay, guys. You can make it through and you can get the other side as you guys can see here i mean if i can make it through a wormhole i'm pretty sure you guys can make it through an atmosphere so the next thing we're going to test is where would we respawn in space a few of you guys were asking me this question and i don't actually know the answer so we're going to find out in today's episode i'm going to find out now but the most difficult thing about this is trying to figure out how to take the easy way out in space i'm not too sure if we can let's see yeah i don't think i can so we've got to try and be creative here so let's see if i can do anything with my mods menu yes we can start Start using things with this vehicle. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. We can just throw them up here and, and they will just chill up there. Oh, yes. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm just going to hold this and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> this is so crazy. What? What? We're still okay. How are we still okay? Th this isn't, this isn't right. This really isn't right. Okay. Let's see. Can I do something here? If we just hold this, let's see. Well, let us do anything. Come on. Yes! Oh my gosh, we can actually do that. Okay, where are we gonna spawn? Where are we gonna spawn? Back on the moon! Back on the moon! Oh, wait, we're now Michael. <laughs> okay. 
my game has literally just broken itself. Like, I can't use my mods anymore. We just totally glitched this. So, if you if you try and respawn in space, then you're going to spawn back in space, but a few seconds later, it will take you back to Earth, and it will just spawn you right here in the middle of sandy shores. It won't spawn you anywhere else, which is pretty interesting, to be honest. I was not expecting that. So, for those of you guys wondering where you respawn in space, this is where you respawn, but before we continue, I'm gonna have to restart my game because I have just completely messed up this game. So once I restart it, we'll find out if the world is round or flat, and then we're gonna find some answers, guys. Once again, guys, if you have not commented in the comments below what do you think the world is, do you think it's round or do you think it's flat, let me know in the comments below, guys. This is gonna be interesting, and I can't wait to see exactly what you guys think, because we're gonna find the answer today. Now we have these mods installed, and now these mods have advanced so much, we're able to do so much more since last time. So this is gonna be awesome. Okay, guys, I'm gonna use this for the video, okay? We're just gonna use this, and I'm also going to use my vehicle multipliers to speed it up and stuff, but let me bring the wheels up, and we're just gonna go over to the north point. We're gonna keep following the north point. That's gonna be our kind of marker to keep following, so we know we're going in a straight line, and as I said earlier, guys, if the world is flat, then we're just gonna go into an invisible wall or something, I don't know. We might even just drop off into nothing, like, that would be crazy. And, of course, if the world is round, then we're just gonna go back into San Andreas, so this is gonna be interesting. Once again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but you can just about see the north icon on my radar, so let's just keep following that. I'm gonna speed up my vehicle, so let's go on to vehicle multipliers, speed it up to 200%, and we gotta make sure we do not go too high on this, because if we do, then we go straight into space. So, yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good, guys. And we just gotta keep going this way. I'd rather go down, so we don't go into space. Oh, look how far away we are! Look how far away we are from this. This is crazy. And as you guys would have seen earlier, when you do fly up into the sky, it does look like that it, it's just a huge planet you're on and it's round. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was round. So we're going to keep going. And as I said earlier, guys, we do have loads of mods installed, which remove any boundary in GTA. So we can just keep going wherever we want to. And we're not going to get blocked off by anything. We can't even see. Oh, wait, I think we can. It's just in the distance over there. And we're going so fast that the vehicle wants to go into the sky like it just keeps trying to go into the sky and oh my gosh look at this guys we're at the north point like literally wait this could be round then if the north point is there that could be like the north pole Oh my days. Okay, I think we just went past the North Pole. We're losing it. We're losing it, guys. There we go. We can't see San Andreas at all. That's it. Oh, wait, you can just about see it if you move your mouse. You can just about see San Andreas, but we're definitely losing San Andreas. Let's look around again. Yeah, you can't see San Andreas anywhere. It's just us and a load of sea. And like I said, these mods have advanced so much that we're able to do so much more with them. Don't crash. Do not crash whatever you do. Just don't crash. I've been doing this for about 20 minutes, and I'm still confused about what's happening. Like, we're still in the middle of nowhere, and nothing has really happened to us yet. We haven't seen anything in front of us. We haven't gone into anything or anything else like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to step up the game. This is slightly more difficult to do, but I think we can do this. And in order to do this, I'm going to have to go into my object spooner. I'm going to have to, oh gosh, we need to do this fast. There we go. We now have the menu here. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly just freeze this in place like so, and then we're going to move this in a specific direction. Yeah, if we just keep doing this, as you guys can see, look how much faster we are traveling. So we're going to keep it on 10 and I'm just going to keep going on the Y axis and we're going much faster than before. And what this is going to do is just get us where we need to be at a much faster speed. So let's just keep going. And as long as we don't go into the water, then we'll be okay. This is really weird. I was just kind of zoning out, just letting myself keep going forward to see if we can find the answer. And now the entire sky is orange. Like, literally everything in the sky is orange. Now, if I remember correctly, last year when we tried this, we couldn't go past a certain point. It, it would just not let us go through. Our plane could, and we could watch the plane fly off into the distance, but our camera couldn't. And it looks like now this mod has advanced. We can go through all of those barriers, and we can see what's on the other side. And I have never been this far out of San Andreas before, and it looks so weird. The entire sky is orange. I actually don't know what's going on. I've never been this far out of San Andreas. This is amazing. This is just as interesting for me as it is for you guys, because I've never been this far out of the map before. Look at our plane. It's glitching so much. Like, look at this, guys. It is glitching so much. But the sky, has anyone seen a sky like this in GTA? This is amazing. This is actually amazing. And I have no idea where we are. I mean, I know we're really far away from land, but if you look at our radar, it's still behind us. It's not like it's moving anywhere. 
as if we were going around a planet. But most importantly, I mean, look at this, guys. We're coming up to a thousand on the Y, and that's really far. What is it? Is it a hundred thousand? Let's see, one hundred thousand. No, we're at a million. One million three thousand seven hundred and ninety-seven. Like, you can't even make that up. I, I haven't even been to coordinates as crazy as this in GTA. I physically haven't. I don't think anyone has ever been this far as well. Like, I didn't even realize a million in the coordinates existed. Like, look at X, guys. X is 8,704. And bearing in mind, if you think about X, it's going the other way. And we left at the northernmost point of the map. So just to give you guys some insight on scale, if the width of the map is about 10,000 or so, so if that's the width, then 1 million on the Y. I mean, you guys can put that into scale if you want to. I mean, you just have to look at this plane to see exactly how far out we are. Like, this plane is glitching so much. And I, I don't even know what's going on. I have no idea. I really don't. I think we have to put a third answer into this. I, I think we're going to have to say that infinite is possible. I think Rockstar Games have made the map to be infinite. There is no end to it. Because last year, if you guys watched the video where we tried to find the end of the map, we went into some sort of invisible barrier. And it was really strange, but we could still fly through it, we just couldn't use our camera to go through it. And now that mod has been changed and edited a tiny bit, we're able to go through that barrier and there is literally nothing stopping us. So everything you're seeing around me is stuff no one has ever seen in GTA 5. And I I think this is the very first video which proves the theory that GTA 5, the entire map, the entire world is in fact infinite. So in theory it could actually be round. We could keep going forever and ever and ever and we might find ourselves back where we started, which would be amazing. And that's why I'm not ruling out that theory because it's still just as possible. The only reason why I don't want to do it is because it's going to take a long time. I mean you just have to look at my radar. If we were going around the planet then all of my things in the radar would slowly move move around the radar as if we were kind of moving around them. But that's not the case. So that theory is possible, but it's very unlikely. So this leads me to theory number two, which I think is more reasonable and more likely. And this is that the world is flat. And although a flat world, as you would expect, will have an ending to it, we're going to have to say that yes, it's flat, but it's still infinite. So although this doesn't 100% prove that GTA 5 is flat and the world in GTA 5 is flat, it does make it extremely likely likely that it is flat. So if you guys were to keep going, you could just keep going forever and ever and ever. You could just keep going into the horizon. Nothing would stop you. Although the game would start looking a bit weird, as you guys can see, everything around me looks so weird. We have an orange sky. Like, I've never seen an orange sky in GTA. My plane doesn't even know what it's doing anymore. I'm glad we did this because we did actually find some pretty cool answers out. We're 1.4 million coordinates out. I'm not even sure what the scale of a coordinate is, but as I said, earlier guys, the width of the map is about 10,000 or so, 15,000 at most, so 1.4 million, I mean, that's a crazy scale, that is a crazy scale guys, so yeah. So to conclude this video guys, as you can see, we're over one and a half million coordinates out on the Y scale. So the world is definitely flat. I mean, if it were round, then it's huge because nothing in our radar is moving around. So the world is definitely flat in my opinion, but it's also infinite, which is something I was not expecting at all. So you can just keep going forever and ever and ever. And although it's flat, there is no end to it. So that's kind of interesting. It's kind of like contradicting both theories because if it were round, it would be infinite, and if it were flat, then it would have some sort of end to it. But that's not the case. In fact, it is flat and infinite. So, I mean, I don't even know what to say about this. This is completely unexpected. I just don't even know. So, by the looks of things, the world is flat and infinite, which is pretty crazy. So, that could possibly mean it's round, but by the looks of things, I think it's flat. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. It would be interesting to see what you guys thought as well. So, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. It has been a blast recording this. I really enjoyed filming this and we found some pretty interesting answers, stuff which I was not expecting to find out whatsoever. So if you did enjoy today's episode guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, that would of course be absolutely amazing. I recommend you guys also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below alongside anything else you guys would like to see me do on my channel. And you never know guys, your idea might make it into another video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, my name is Nort, this was still amazing, I hope you guys did enjoy it and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.